Hello everybody, what is up? This is Phil from IPTV.net. Thank you guys for checking out this video. In today's video, I'm going to be revisiting one of my older tutorials, as well as announcing the winner of the Richard Solo 1800 backup battery giveaway, or the winners, I should say. And that will be done in the usual fashion, in a scrolling text kind of thing at the end of the video. So, if you want to know if you won or not, make sure to check that out when, uh, at the end of the video. But, let's get back onto the tutorial. I'm going to be revisiting one of my more popular older tutorials that I did um, on how to change the carrier text on your iDevice. Now, Make It Mine was the way that I used in my last tutorial, and it still works to a certain extent, but um, it has a very low, like, it only worked for me about 50% of the time, so I'm going to be showing you guys a way that I found that works, uh, it should work every time, and it should work on newer firmwares. Now, I have only been able to test this on firmware version 4.3.3 on an iPhone 4, an iPhone 3GS, an iPod, an uh, iPad 2, and also on firmware 4.2.1, I believe, on my iPod Touch second generation. So I tested it on those, and it's worked for all of them. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what you got to do. So what you're going to want to do is open up Cydia. As you see, mine it just says AT&T at the top. I have not changed it. Alright, once Cydia opens up, I'm going to go ahead and go into search, and you want to search something called fake carrier, like so, and you want to go ahead and click on it, and you want to install that. Now what this will actually do is change, of course, the carrier at the top. So you want to hit install, and confirm, and install it onto your device. It shouldn't take too long to install, it's not it's a relatively small package. Zing. Anyway, now you're going to hit restart springboard and your device will respring. Mine will take a little bit longer to respring because I have a lot of stuff on it. So, yeah, let's wait. It's the fun part. Yep. Jeopardy theme music inserted here. Alright, and once you finish respringing, what you're going to want to do is unlock your device. And you'll have a new icon on your springboard uh, called Fake Carrier. And it looks like that, has the bars and everything. Click on that, and you'll be greeted with this kind of menu. Now you have the About tab that tells about like the application, the developer, stuff like that. And then you have Fake Carrier, Fake Time, and Show Battery Level. Now this application was originally um, developed for iOS or for uh, firmware version 3.0 and when it was on 3.0 it had all of those settings or all of those uh, options but on for iOS 4 it only works with the fake carrier so go ahead that's the only one that you can click the other ones are grayed out as you can tell so you can go ahead and hit fake carrier and you can type in your carrier right here I'll just do uh, I P T B then you hit set, and as you'll notice, the carrier at the top of my device, right there, is changed. So that's how to change the carrier text on your iDevice. It's actually very simple. If you want to revert back to the normal one, you would just hit reset, and to go back to normal. So this has been Phil from IPTV.net. Thank you guys for checking out this video. If it was helpful, make sure to like it and comment. And also, if you like the content that I produce and want to be updated whenever I produce it, please make sure to subscribe. Now. I'll see you guys in the next video, and if you are wondering whether or not you won the giveaway, you're about to find out. I'll see you guys later. Go ahead and roll the little credit thingy with the winners. Peace.